with Virgo. Welcome to my third channel, my Virgo only channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, for those of you currently in separation, we're going to get an update on the feelings for you, your person's feelings for you. Today is the 21st of August 2024. Time here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is 7.37 a.m. Virgo, I'm giving away a free personal reading once a week for a lucky winner. To enter, hit like, subscribe, and comment below. I love Virgo. If you have commented before, you can do it again. It will increase your chance in winning. Winners will be announced on the community page weekly. Okay, Virgo, let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Virgo currently in separation. How does the person feel about Virgo right now? Thanks for being here, Virgo. Bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and your person. Um, and this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you from the beginning to the end. If you want to book me for a personal reading, that's way more accurate. That's still me, just for you and you alone. You can book me, all info is below. Got the tower at the bottom of the deck. Okay, Virgo, let's see. I feel like a person in separation currently hasn't quite fully moved on yet because we've got the world here in our first. And the Ten of Pentacles, I feel like this person has been thinking about the future, thinking about reconciliation, Seven of Swords in reverse. I feel like your person currently could be feeling as though they want to come clean with you, they want to be honest with you. Hoping three of cups. Why do I hear the word bump? They could be thinking about like running into you, bumping into you somewhere. But generally, for go the ten of cups and three of cups means they may have been thinking about getting back together and thinking about the future. The world of first stuck energy. That means they haven't moved on yet. The eight of pentacles could mean that. Uh, they could be feeling that this takes a lot of work or that they've been working really hard trying to distract themselves from thinking too much about you or it could also mean that they feel like you are probably the most hardworking person <laughs> one of the most hardworking people in your life and we've got the emperor here in the first your person could be an aries could be said uh, sagittarius Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, could be a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, it doesn't matter, it can be any sign, okay, we all have multiple signs in our chart, and also this is just a general reading. It may feel like they are losing control of this situation, but I feel like they may be also working towards stepping up, okay? Unless it's them feeling like you are, you've been working really hard and you've been ignoring them, um, they may have a lot of respect for you, especially for those Virgos who have been working super, super hard. And we've got the Six of Pentacles here. They still feel like you're somebody very kind, very genuine, um, somebody who has helped them a lot. Page of Wands, they feel like they would like to reach out to you, talk to you, uh, possibly apologize to you if, if they did something wrong. Unless it's vice versa, Virgo, then they could be feeling like you need to apologize to them and you need to come clean with them and you need to work on yourselves. You know, you should know where you stand uh, in this storyline. And in this storyline, and we've also got the Six of Swords. They feel like they would like to move towards Kama Water with you. They would like to make peace with you. They could also be thinking about giving you something, okay? Six of Pentacles, a gift. It could be giving you something or communicate with you about something where they maybe they need help or returning something to you or taking something especially if you lived with this person okay but let's see more doesn't apply to all of you not a cup your person could be a Pisces cancer Scorpio if you're wondering if your person still cares they do okay not cups is a night of love so they do care about you or that they do love you still ten of cups look at the ten of cups Virgo your person actually wants to reconcile or reconciliation cards here one two three four five and then also we've got the tower in our first i see they want to undo the damages that they have done to this connection 
I feel like they also may have been thinking, what if I was to turn back time? I would like to do things differently. Perhaps I feel like there are, they could be feeling like they need to come clean with you again, Seven of Swords, in regards to working on this connection, Page of Wands. There's this very hopeful energy. They could be hoping that maybe there could be a future with you in the future or some sort of conversation. Let's see a bit more. Ace of Swords in reverse. The Moon in reverse. Two of Cups in reverse. Four of Wands. Virgo, subscribe if you haven't yet. It's free to subscribe. We've got the Four of Wands. It's another card that indicates reconciliation. Now, Virgo, whether your person takes actions towards you or not, I feel like they do want to see you again. They do want to reconcile with you. See? Two of Cups here is in reverse. That means both of you are currently separated. They feel like both of you need to have some clear communication. Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords actually came out in the last reading, so go go check it out, okay? Um, and the moon in reverse. I feel like they really want to communicate in regards to the future, but they may have some fear, insecurities in regards to that. And the tower in reverse. Also, there could be this feeling of, is it too late for me to even say something to Virgo. I do see them wanting to, but this could also be a prediction, Virgo, of what's to come. Your person in separation may want to communicate with you in some way, shape, or form, okay? But this could also mean seven source of numbers where your person, I don't know whether it's you or them, okay? Again, it's just a general reading. It's not a personal reading where I can actually pinpoint who's who. But then the, I mean, the seven of source of numbers could mean that for some of you, maybe something was being exposed. The tower here, in reverse, ace of swords in reverse. Unless they're thinking about exposing something to you. Really telling you the truth, how they've been really feeling with the moon in reverse. I do feel like a person does still love you and care about you. But the seven of swords in reverse, and, you know, it could mean that somebody was caught lying, cheating, but it could also mean that true colors have been revealed and it may have caused this tower moment, this separation. But I do sense them feeling like they need to work on themselves so they feel like you or that you need to work on yourself. But overall, Virgo, I see a person doesn't want to have any bad blood with you. Um, I feel like they want the best for you. They would still like to talk to you if given a chance or, or if it's somebody maybe you could still be talking to each other. Let's pull out some of these truth oracles here. Let's see more. I hope everyone has been doing great. Finally, I'm back just, you know, trying to catch up on some readings for you guys. I wish things could be different. See, I told you, they, that the world in reverse and the ace of swords in reverse and the tower in reverse, I feel like it's connected to this card here. I wish things could be a bit uh, different. So I feel like they could be wishing that, you know, the tower moment didn't happen. Um, some things they could take back. They wish they never did it or that they wish you never did it they, or that they wish that both of you are still together and we've got I feel you even though we are apart so every time Virgo when you think about your person out of nowhere that means they're also thinking about you okay could be tele uh, telepathy <laughs> I can never say that word it's time for me to heal now they may be feeling that they would actually like to heal this connection I sense them like really really want to talk to you okay i love you unconditionally it well there's love here for sure okay but unconditionally is you know maybe a king would be unconditionally um knight is still kind of young so but whatever the case is i feel like your person still loves you okay and what have got i want to be more than friends so i feel like a person would be feeling like Either they want to be friends with you, wish that both of you could still be talking if both of you are not friends. But if both of you are friends right now, they could be hopeful about the future. 
in regards to reconciling, getting back together. Um, yeah. All right, Virgo, this is your reading. I hope it serves you well. Don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, all info is below. Uh, it's free to subscribe, so make sure you do, and especially if you've been here before many times. As you guys know, I post your readings very, very regularly, and I make sure that I mention the time of the day so that you know that I don't ever, ever recycle your videos. And also, Virgo, don't forget that I do have two other channels, Chelsea Love Tarot and Chelsea Vlogs, so make sure you subscribe to those channels as well. And normally, we go live on my main channel, Chelsea Love Tarot, where, where I'll do collective readings and... Uh, personal readings but super chat only so make sure you subscribe to the rest of my channels anyways take care for a while. i hope to see you back here again soon love ya bye